Good evening. I'm here tonight with Judy from Dead Grandma. Judy, I feel like we don't really know too much about you. Well, you see, I'm the love interest, so I don't have a lot of character development. Yes, well, is there anything you'd like to share with us about you? Cats, kittens, YouTube videos about kittens, Robert Pattinson, Orlando Bloom, Tay Diggs, Tool Academy, The Bachelor, flavored water with antioxidants, being mean to my parents for no reason, anything mainstream, really. Mostly just the Jonas Brothers. Uh, wow. Um, sounds like you have vast interests. But I am really, really into Darfur things. I mean, like, seriously, it is so important for people to have vitamins, deodorants, Jonas Brothers. Uh, I'm sorry, did you just say Jonas? Don't put words in my mouth. But I... Over it. Um... Over it. Enjoy today's episode. Like a million bucks. Confidence is key. Yeah, dorkmonger. Excuse me, monsieur. In this restaurant, we have a dress code. Um, I'm actually here to interview. Very well, take a seat. I'm so proud of you for applying in such a fancy eye establishment. I love Italy food. Those Italians certainly know how to get out a good meal. I don't need this right now. I certainly don't care for that red sauce, though. I'm no commie pinko Italian, but I do like Little Italy. Okay, Grandma, it's pronounced Italy, and not all foreigners are communists. <laughs> French. Racist. Monsieur Flugerman will see you now. No, we'll see him now. American pride. These colors don't run. Dead grandma! I've got a grandma, how about you? But then she died, oh what to do? Help me now, I'm in dismay. Can't get by just to live in this way. Because I didn't invent the breadstick by being a recluse. You are lucky to even be breathing the same oxygen as Monsieur Flugelman. Art Gable reincarnated. Okay, knock, knock it off. No. I won't knock it off. And you know why? Uh, no, sir. Because if I had knocked it off, as you say, I never would have invented the Caesar salad. You invented this- Look at that wall. Tell me what you see. A, a dollar. Not just a dollar. My first dollar. So, I understand you go to school with my sons. I, I'm not sure what your sons are- Ha! <laughs> I'm not sure what your ambition in life is, son. But frankly, I don't give a damn. Ambition means nothing if you don't have it. And in my case, Italy. I am a happily married woman. I'm a happily married woman. I'm a Whoa. happily married woman. What is wrong with you? Tell me, Andy. Are you a family man? Uh, yeah, I guess that depends on what the you mean The answer is always yes. Yes. Good. Because I didn't invent the breadstick by being a recluse. Uh, I'm not sure I follow you, sir. You always follow. Yeah, you're a raving lunatic. And I'm afraid that you don't have it. Which means you'll never amount to a thing here at Little Italy. That means leave. Now. Do what the man says. I don't care if he's a raving pinko. He could be president of the United States. Yeah, you honestly cracked. Well. No, 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 sir, I, I don't mean... Send Fabrizio in. Oh, are you serious? Oh, Come on. Oh, isn't that the one that your Judy fancies over you? Oh, oh this is not happening. Hey, and oh. if you're that hard up for a job, I may have an opening in one of my smaller, dilapidated chains. Oh, let's get out of here. It's far too sexy. Wait, 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 
Fabrizio. Tell me, Fabrizio. Are you a real life Italian? Because if you are, you've got the job. Fabrizio. Corn dogs, little Italy, corn dogs. Hello, Lily, corn dogs. Tetris. Duck hunt. Ha. Ha! You're wearing the hat my dad let me design. <laughs> he strategically designed it to make you feel inferior. <laughs> Looks like you're wearing a dump on a stick. Facial. Ha. So I find that, like, I've gained, like, an inch and a half on my biceps. So, like, this hey, bicep. did you hear that Fabrizio got that job at Little Italy? I love Little Italy! Everything you say fills me with interest, Judy. Corn dogs! Andy? You work here? <laughs> Coach says corn dogs are real bad for you. <laughs> Smooth move, Ann Man. <laughs> Dad, Grandma! I've got a grandma, how about you? But then she died. Guys are creepy. Unless they're cute.